Howdy, how you guys doing? Welcome to Fearless Rambler Live here at the Cheyenne Zoo, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs. So I'm just doing a pop-up to maybe do a Merry Christmas uh, message to you guys and maybe to have a chance to walk around and talk and tell you a few stories. And uh, we're gonna start out here in the penguin house and take a look at the penguins. My phone's gonna have your chat on it. Okay. Very delayed, so Hold that for a second. I'm gonna grab my glove so I can hold it, and we're ready to go. So, right now there's two people in, the, in this house here. It's uh, we are. So let's uh, take a walk up here for a minute and look at uh, the outside area. Oh, let's go over here. We're gonna just wait a few minutes so we can have the penguin house to ourselves and uh, take the outside here. Now, here at the zoo, they have like zoo lights. I don't know what they really call it, but they come in about five o'clock and you can see a bunch of beautiful lights um, decorated for the Christmas season. For example, they got a hippo right here because we're in, heading into a hippo house. The lights are not on because it's right now noonish here. And we came to the zoo at noon, so you might be able to later than that, but it might be a fun thing to walk around. It's a beautiful day today. You can see I'm dressed kind of warm because it's 10 degrees. Well, it started this morning at 10 degrees. It's raised up about 20 here. Just a little bit of But it's a beautiful sunny day, and uh, we're just going to enjoy the, the weather. So let's uh, take a walk here and see what we got here. Tim is watching you. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Okay, so here, so here we're getting ocean sounds in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> yeah, you got that on? Yeah, I do. Okay, just wondering. Do we need to hold that now so I can read? No, because you should be talking. Will, how you doing, Will? Let's see who else is here. Scorchy's here. Welcome, Scorchy. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask and uh, comment right here. I would like to read my comments. And... Uh, so we're gonna go into a penguin house right now. Hope it uh, shows up. I hope our sound's pretty good. If you have good sound here, kind of give me a thumbs up. I think I froze. A minute ago. Okay, okay I might have froze a, a few, minute ago. There's a few people in the penguin house, so. Yeah, we'll just walk in and not see them. Let's see if it works inside. It's uh, gonna be a little bit warmer inside. Yep, so we got some penguins here. Everything's gonna... Now these are... African penguins, you want to know um, a little bit about them, they are on the south coast of uh, South Africa. They're an endangered species and they weigh about eight pounds and they live between 10 to 15 years. They live a little bit longer here in captivity. And if I look over there, it looks like there's a okay. pelican right over there kind of nesting away. So they don't have them going outside today because of cold weather. Surprised it's not iced over because it's running water. So, uh, Tim, how, how's those shirts doing? I was going to call you a little bit later on. Hope the shirts are fitting. I saw your picture today, and yes, uh, we can get you a couple more of those shirts. Um, the Furnace Rambler shirt, you can wear them on your cruise. We just need to get the size of them. Oh, Tim, if you look right here, <laughs> some, there's a belt here. That's my butt, but it also has a belt. It's a Ferris Rambler belt, and I appreciate the gift from you. That's been great. Um, I talked to Renee yesterday, and she was enjoying her trip to California. So, All right. growing up, penguins were always one of my favorite birds. Of course, flamingo's my favorite one, but I really do like penguins. I uh, went to an aquarium in Salt Lake um, and had a private day there basically. I got to walk around the aquarium with very little people there. And I got a chance to enjoy um, walking around the shark tanks all by myself. Um, the, the penguins were kind of interesting there because when I was uh, doing the penguins, um, they turned off the lights on us. So we were watching the penguins in the penguin house and turned off the lights and it was completely dark in there except a little bit of ambient light 
coming from the background. And the lady said, oh, I'm taking those, uh, what we do, we turn the light off certain times so the penguins think that it's nighttime. So, um, but it was like five o'clock at night. So we didn't get a chance to see the penguins very well. I do got the film of them turning off the lights and everybody screaming. That was kind of funny. On there. Okay, no. I want my headphones. Read. Um, Rebecca, Rebecca Gallagher says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How you doing? Welcome to the zoo and this Christmas uh, pop-up. Yeah, hope everyone's having a great Christmas today. Um, I've been to the zoo once before. Did a few little... Um, uh, sh not shorts on, but uh, did a couple comments on the grizzly bears they had. They're uh, kind of a fun thing to see here. We're gonna head over to the hippo house and take a look. This, uh, last time we were here, didn't they have a baby hippo? Yeah, there was a baby. There was a little baby hippo last time we were here, just a tiny little thing. And uh, let me uh, get that phone to Crystal. Grab that phone, please. Oh, sorry. Because I want her to read. Okay, there's nothing to read, and it's a giant distraction. Here we go. She's oh, here we go. Hippo's coming up. Look at that steam coming off of this. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's kind of an exciting thing to see is the okay, hippo let's himself. Let's see him come back up. Where are they going to come back up at? I don't know. Is he going to come back up? There's two of them. Two adults. So I guess the water is cool. Our air is not bothering them. Now you see the steam coming up, so it must be oh, I just warm. Saw I one see of some them bubbles blow. there, but they can stay under for a long period of time. There's some more bubbles. There oh. it goes. Oh, it's a baby hippo. There it goes. Just saw the baby hippo. So they're out today. Um, let's see. Let's go in the hippo okay, house. Okay, let's go inside and see if there's any see. inside, if they're all out all right. today. Yeah, let's go see the hippos. And uh, walk on in here. They've got a really nice hippo house. This is really nice. Out of service. As you're looking across here, the Christmas treat we had the other day is that outside the backyard, there's a great horned owl sitting out. I think the hippo's inside the water over there. See, up in the trees, they're supposed to be lemurs, but I... I don't see any lemurs right now. They're asleep. I see one. Oh, are they sleeping up there? Yeah. Just, just keep track. Oh, and there's, they're all curled up there in a little ball. Oh, there. Okay, one second. It's okay. But then there's one down here in the water. I can't tell how big it is. Yes. Yeah, I can just see the eyeballs pop, pooping out, popping out there. We won't say pooping out because it poops over there. But certainly, you can see the, uh, it's kind of, it's just the, no, it's, it's the nostrils, I think. So they've got part of them outside and part of them inside. It looks like they're separated, taking turns. Okay, let's walk around and see what else we got. Well, I was going to tell you, so we saw that um, great horned owl sitting out there. The, oh yeah, in the tree of Scott's backyard. They're being attacked by the... Uh, by a bunch of jays and... Uh, but, uh, and some magpies. other birds and magpies. But the owl just, just had its eyes closed and wasn't going he to move. He slept there all day long. Yeah. But we kept the chickens locked up for their safety. Yep. Oh, here we go. How much does a hippo weigh? Let me, let me stand on here. Do I weigh that much? Holy crap, 185 pounds. Hippo weighs zero. Zero. <laughs> so I weigh more than a hippo. Oh, it says right here, male hippo can weigh 5,500 pounds. Newborn is 82 pounds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Weighing more than me, that's for sure. So I need to get off of that because it's showing my fatness. Okay, there we go. 65, that's more like I, I guess I'm glad it's not in kilograms. <laughs> Might look a little bit better. Um, Let's see what else we got here. So we're gonna look around. Over here, oh, here we go. We got a, a crown crane right here. It doesn't matter, we lost connection a while ago. Did we? Yeah, 
Okay, let's go back outside. Okay, let's see if we can catch it back outside. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Yeah, going live here at the Cheyenne Zoo. And uh, I'm just gonna go here, we can see a beaver. Oh, look at the beaver's out. Look at this. Oh, look at this beaver. Yeah, there's a live beaver right there. I'll feed it. I'll feed it. Grab this. Here, look at this. Banana, banana. Oh no. Oh, she just got out of the water too. Took too long. Man, I took too long. <laughs> if you go around, you can get it. I get it. Oh, I have to go around now. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh my god, Johnny, that's amazing. Oh, I'm in your way. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, look at this. Look. Banana. Banana. Oh, look at that. Oh. How fun. I'm pretty sure that's hash. Oh, there's another beaver right there. I'll keep my finger away from that one. Well, that was far. We're not going to do that one, man. Yeah, if we hand feed anyone, it's just going to be this beaver, okay? Yeah. I'm going to trade you. It's so cute. I'm going to look at that. One interference with the hashy one. Do you want to feed acorn that? Oh. Yeah. I fed a beaver. Hey, look at the beaver. Just a cute sir. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one's fine. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem. Man, up close and personal. <laughs> Let me tell you a little up close and personal with Terry here. Not very well. We went to what? Which can't, it was an animal kingdom. It was, um, it's not SeaWorld, but African USA. Yeah. And uh, they had little cubs of tigers. Tiger cubs. Tiger cubs. And she went and pet one, and then she got yelled at for petting a tiger cub. I put my finger through the fence. And they said, you can't touch, you can't touch them. Well, then why are they like right against the fence where I can walk up and touch them? Yeah, so don't touch a tiger. They do that now, they do double fences. Yeah. Up close and personal. How fun. So let's see if uh, my phone here, see if we are getting any reception here. If not, that was just fun. No, your, your stream health is good. And do I have anybody on? You have me right now. Have two, one person on. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're just gonna walk around and look at animals. We got the feed beaver, and we're gonna come up here. I think uh, got a stack of people. Is it? Oh, it's some more goats. We can go pet a goat. Uh, I don't know how we get in to pet a goat, but look. Oh, fun. I'm gonna reach in the fence here and pet a goat. That's it, this goat even wants me to pet him. There's a fun little goat. That's Ricotta, and she is the best goat in here. Is she? Yep. Oh, what a nice goat. How fun. Did you pet a goat, guys? Yeah, I've already petted her. Oh, you really? Yeah, I walked up here a minute ago. <laughs> While we're feeding the beaver? No, while you guys were still back there getting ready. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna go ahead and walk a little further here, and I'm hoping we have good connection. We lost it earlier when I planned to do this live, but we're still here enjoying the beautiful scenery here in Colorado Springs. I go see Look at that mountain. Else. Look at that mountain right there. And this is why we're losing reception, is because we're right on the mountain. So we came to go see the bear. I certainly don't want to go see the bear. So it's a nice walk up. Animal exercise area. I think I might need to go in there and exercise a little bit. When I weighed myself with the hippo, I was weighing there. Look pretty much the hippo. Hey. Well, I'll let you guys go in. I'll probably lose reception, but you guys go ahead and go in. We can come back to it as we... Oh yeah, so I want to admit, you know, it's Christmas Day. I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. 
and enjoy the uh, beautiful mountain cool weather we're having here. We had a drive to the airport today and we started taking off for the airport. 4 at 4 a.m. in the morning, yeah. It was uh, 10 degrees. It was so cold. But it's warming up a little bit here. I don't know what it is right, right now. It says about 20. But the sun feels good. We're debating do we want to go to the zoo or not today because, you know, it's cold. But since the wind's not blowing, it's not too bad. Those who live in the mountains will understand that it does get cold living in the Rockies and uh, uh, have some nice snow. If you look around here, you can see the snow on the ground. It's supposed to snow today, but it hadn't. It just, the snow didn't come in. I know it rained out California the last couple of days and the snow's supposed to come here and it never did hit. So, no. Yeah, oh, here comes a, oh, it's a moose. Now we do have moose. If you look at my uh, little video on converting a tough shed to a cabin, you'll see a mother and two baby moose that came up to us. They come visit quite often. I, uh, to tell you a little story about moose, it's kind of, kind of a scary story. I had just walked out of a, uh, our little cabin and I opened up the door and 10 feet away from me is a full size male moose looking right at me. And I'm looking right at him and I'm saying, who's gonna win here? I backed back in, he turned around and ran off. So I gave him a scare as much as he gave me a scare. Kind of a fun little story. Oh, what's that? I don't know, what are you filming? Oh, it's, it's a little bit late. So, oh, this is walking up the yeah, it's walking up the hill. Okay. So there is delay here from I'm seeing it, what's going out there, and Terry's just noticing a delay of the film. But yeah, these moose are pretty dang cool. They're up at our property. We had one deer up at our property that just loved us. Always so curious. She didn't come back this year. Um, I don't know what happened to her, but she would just come up to our property and just look at us, just kind of walk around and uh, see, uh, see us and see what we're doing. Okay, I just lost my connection for a second, but it looks like I'm back on. So, Crystal, am I still got my connection? It just, it just clicked off for a second. Green health is green. Okay, is anybody saying hi to me? Uh, not at the moment. Am I on private? No, we've got three people watching. Oh, okay. Oh, let's come up here. What's going? What's going up here? Cougars. Oh, the cougar. Oh, there's some cougars right there. Cougars Look at that. Porcupine might be hibernating. Yeah, they like to hibernate. Crystal has a pretty cool story. Now the cougar, we just ran back right over here, but he's. Uh, we can see the porcupine. So, Crystal, she went onto Antelope Island. And when she went to Antelope Island, um, we were driving and we were like, what are these big nests in the trees? So we stopped to look and it wasn't nests, it was porcupines. On this big old tree. Now we went back a year later to try to find them and we, we just didn't find nope, them. We found a porcupine, there. but not like hundreds of them gathered together in a tree. So it looks like he has a little heat lamp there. That's will keep him a little bit more warmer. Yeah, so maybe the hibernation isn't quite there. The, the cougar just ran right here, but he's, uh, he's kind of disappeared a little bit. They run back and forth. They might be over by the window. Oh, it might be by the window. <laughs> now we might lose you in here, so I'm not sure. Let's, Crystal can let's, let's, get loitered. We'll see if we lose them as we go through this door. So, what was that? Mid. Okay. So let's see what happens here, see if we lose you. Um, we might lose it because we're going into a little tunnel where the cougars are at. And I don't see any, oh, we lost. I think you got too far ahead of us. Okay, oh, we, we lost you for a minute. Oh, yeah, so we So we have to go back outside to catch back on. So here we go. We just had to go back on. Okay. 
there we go. So we're gonna, didn't get to see the cougar other than running back and forth right here for a second. A bunch of people went inside some weird like uh, employee area under this rock and I don't know why. Oh really? Do you wanna go see what it is and it's tell us? It's an employee area and it's got a closed door on it. Oh, I thought maybe they were letting people in today. I hear the people and I saw some people in there. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I don't see the cougars now. So if I walked into the cougar house right here, it, we just lose you. Um, again, connection isn't the greatest right here. Keep your phone with your camera. So if you can look over here, though, you'd be able to see some antlers. And they call amazing antlers. Only male moose have antlers. Bull grow the antlers each year in spring. And here's some pictures of the antlers that came off the moose because they do lose them and in this case you can see they have lost the antlers for several years and there they are and of course he still has them on right now so but they're turning turn gray over there so I don't know okay So we'll just keep on walking here and tell you a few more stories. Now, I have a story about a mountain lion, if you want to hear it. When uh, Terry, we were camping up in Logan Canyon at Bridger. It's a, just a nice little campground we used to pull up and camp at. And she was uh, collecting uh, elderberries. Uh, elderberries. And as she collected them, there was a uh, ranger that came up to her, and what did he tell you? Well, he was taking foot. He was taking casting of some footprints. He says, "Yeah, I just saw a mountain lion walk right by here, and or well, actually, this was later in the day." And he told me, "I came through here about noon, and I saw a mountain lion walk through here." And I'm standing there going, "I walked through here about noon." So it's picking berries. <laughs> picking berries, and I think he had. I just missed him. There was a little ravine that went down to the river. I'm pretty sure he was probably down below me along the river while I was walking by up above the river, down the trail. Yeah, just, just, a, just probably just watching her walking. I think he was there watching me. Just the time fell right into that. Yeah, so again, yeah, you always have to be careful about wild animals there at the, uh, uh, when you're up in the mountains. And uh, in this case, we weren't at our property, though we've seen coyotes and stuff like that. I'm losing my connection. Oh, there it goes. Came back. Lost the connection for a second. So I'm going to kind of avoid that little tunnel where everyone's seen the mountain lion. I saw him for a minute. He was just kind of running around. But everybody's enjoying themselves watching the mountain lion. And you just won't going to see it on this video. Yeah, so that's kind of a fun little story. Now on our property, we have all kinds of little critters there. We have chipmunks for sure. My favorite are the lizards that run around. I like saying hi to all the lizards. Oh, so it's feeding the feeding them. I have deer eyes. Were you just handed some? Well, may have to go this way where they're feeding them. They got they got food. Everybody likes steak. Okay, we might be able to see the. Uh, they got. Sid! Koda! Oh, here we go. There's the mountain lion. They're gonna. Oh, he's excited. She. She. So, what's the name of this one? Adira. Adira? Hi, Adira. Kind of like I can like Sammy when we have hot dog treats, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh oh. Adira, good job. Come on. Oh, it's gonna come over Ready? over here. Ready? Whoa. Oh, that was terrible. I'll go get it for you. I'm sorry. Whoa. How fun. <laughs> Let this speak for itself. What a beautiful animal. Get that one? Good. Oh, almost. Oh, you got it. I'll get it for you. Could have put it down the feed chute, but this is way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
<laughs> oh, let's go see the other one. I think there's some more cats over here. Let's see. Are there some more cats over here? What's, what's the name of this one? This one I think is Coda. Coda? How you doing, Coda? Coda. Yeah, I got Coda. Sid's still inside. So I was right. You were right, Cammie. <laughs> That's kind of fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. At least you get to do something fun on Christmas. Right? <laughs> Everyone should have fun at Christmas. That's right. Uh, I lost the meatball for you. There you go. Oh, fun. That's so cool. Is there another one over here, too, or is that it? Yeah, a little different. <laughs> yeah. Do you walk here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so they're going to feed another cougar, and this cougar is still, doesn't want to come out to the cold yet. Oh, they closed it. Because when they, they wee-woo. Oh, you said that you. And it is the cutest thing I've ever heard. That's funny, we separate them from mom and Mango. Sorry, he's trying to figure out how to long call, but he doesn't quite have it yet. Okay. So that was feeding time for the cougars. And that's always fun to see. So check my phone to see if I have anybody visiting right now. I think he's watching. Here, let's and see. Eddie Lugo just popped in. Oh, hi. Merry Christmas. Yo, 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 Eddie. Hope you got our card. Um, thank you for your card. Um, appreciate you as a friend. And uh, we're doing one of your things, a pop-up live. Did you know I don't do very many lives? But I thought it'd be fun walking around the zoo on Christmas and just kind of wish you a Merry Christmas on this cold winter day. So this is just joining us in. We start the morning out 10 degrees. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but I bet it's below something. And uh, we decided to come over to the zoo because it's not windy and it's a sunny day, but it's quite cold. I'm just telling stories today, a little bit, a little bit of some of the wildlife adventures I had. When we get to the bears, I want to tell you a nice little story about bears. I think we're heading up to the bears right now. Now, let's hope I don't lose you here. Is this the bears? The oh, these are the otters. otters. Yeah, I've seen those in the wild. Um, hiking and stuff. Okay, I don't get him on the camera. I don't know if I can get the otter Another on the window over here. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to walk up higher to see the otter itself. Yeah, actually, I've seen otters here in Colorado fishing, and I've enjoyed the uh, the uh, fishing here in Colorado as a youth. Had a I got a couple of interesting stories that we used to have. It's just a heater. Yeah. It's a oh. heater, but you can't see the otter. You can't see the otter, though. Well, when I was a youth, you know, I grew up in Colorado, at least um, from fourth to basically junior high, junior high, not through junior high school. And back then, kids were allowed to kind of roam a little bit more than they do today. So we, my dad would put us up here in the mountains and just drop it off, drop us off. A lot of times I'd go off by myself to the mountains and go hiking by myself for a week at a time and try to live off uh, uh, just fishing. And I'd bring some dry beans and some salt pork and take it out of the mountains and try surviving a week or so, two weeks sometimes during the summer just to get away. And I was only like 12, 13 doing that. And in those days, you know, we got, got a chance to uh, explore. Nowadays, no one kid can do that, I don't think. And Colorado's getting so busy, it's not open like it was before. But that's how life is, isn't it? Life changes. And certainly, I couldn't, probably would have never um, taking my kids and dropping them off in the forest and said, go live for a week. Any good comments there, Terry? Crystal? Well, Eddie says he has a cougar at home. Oh, you do? <laughs> it's negative 23. Oh. Who's back? Who's back? 
Tim, welcome back, Tim. I don't know if you saw the belt I was wearing, but it's the belt you produced. Now I'm gonna show you a beautiful view of Colorado Springs up here in the mountains. Now we did Pikes Peak the other day. It was beautiful up there. It was a beautiful day like it is today. It's cold. It was running in the teens. And it's uh, pretty cool today. As we go higher and higher, it's getting colder and colder. Yeah, it's Eddie, I don't understand what you mean by cougar. <laughs> you know, need to tell Alice the uh, high for me then. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you're referring to. Yeah, so. Now we're just gonna go ahead and walk and see some grizzly bears. And I was gonna tell you a story about grizzly bears. I was hiking in a hike up at Mount Baldy in, Put yes. Around so we can see this. Oh, here we go, here we go. So as we see the bears, a like, hawk. oh, a hawk? Where's that? Down there. On the ground. Oh, he's on the ground. I don't see him, but hey. Right there. Blind as a bat. He's sitting on a log. Oh, okay. I think we can, that's cool. Now, I, it's hard to see the hawk, but it's there. Now, we saw a hawk fly over our heads. Um, when was that, Crystal? No, it was... Today. No, we saw a golden eagle. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday? Was that there? Close to I can't remember. I can't remember. It was only a couple of days ago, we saw a golden eagle flying by. And, uh, and then... Uh, oh, yeah, it's, we're going up to the mountains up there. I was going to Pikes Peak and then we saw some crows. But let me tell you about the bear story. Back to, back to my bear story. So I hope we can see the bear in here. We can't see it. There must be a bear house for us to go see it in. Probably have to go below or something. Might be, it might be hibernating this time of year. Yeah, it's sleeping. Oh, so the bear's up here. So I was hiking at Mount Baldy in New Mexico and that's the tallest mountain in New Mexico. And we were camping, and that night we had hung our tents up uh, way up high on the tree, because that's what you need to do. You need to hang your, your uh, packs up so the bears can't get to it. Well, the bear did get to it, pulled it down and ate my soap, but more of it, he, uh, he, the bear getting to our packs walked over my tent and just squished my tent down and walked right over the top of me. You talk about somebody that was scared to death. Yeah, that bear didn't care about me, but certainly he wanted to get to our packs to see if we find the jerky or not. And yeah, he, uh, he stomped right on top of me. Now, I hope I don't lose you going through this building. We've been losing people. The, oh, here comes the bears. Let's see if we can not lose it. Okay, watch our connection here. Okay. We haven't lost a connection yet, so that's good. And there's the bear. I think maybe... Oh, look how big that bear is. Right here. Yeah, he would be something to cuddle up with at night. What was that? Oh, I'm losing it. There we go. Okay. We lost connection. We're in a building. We've been losing connection in the building. Yeah. Oh, there's two bears. There comes another one right there. Oh, he's coming up. Now, on my community chat, I put a picture of one of these bears, and you can just see how huge their claws are. You know, I, th I think I say, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Yeah, he'd love to scratch my back. Oh my goodness, they're huge. There's some drowsy bears. Yeah, it should be like a hi hibernation day today, isn't it? So, that is pretty dang cool. Now, the, the, the zoo here is not open extremely late today. Um, it's... It closed at three. We got here about 12, so we came here just to do a live. And we had some troubles at first. And certainly, 
Eric, we went into the penguin house to show the penguins, but they uh, just shut itself off, and so we was looking at some hippos. Oh, we lost them at the hippos? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of sad. We'll try to merge it together somehow at the end, so it's all kind of like one large video here, one uh, large live. Now, if Eddie's still there, you know he's the live expert. He does great lives. And uh, appreciate him as a friend. Alice's wife was our, my 500 subscriber. I'll never forget that. I think that's who he's calling a cougar. So as we look through here, again, we had to walk up the stairs of the tower right here. Again, beautiful views. And so, so that hawk we were looking at, Scott was called a real t red tail hawk. Now, over the dog park. Yeah, it could have been Swanson's hawk. Well, was it? I don't know. Oh, it could be. Up at our property, we have a red tail hawk that flies around all the time, likes to get the grouse. And the, the squeaking, you know, he's, he, rah, rah, I can't even do the squeak. What does that sound like when the hawk goes, Terry? It's a screech. And he just flies overhead of our property, but he's looking for the grouse that we have up there. And one day I had, was walking along and there he was eating a grouse and he just gave me the dirtiest look. He didn't fly off. He just gave me a dirty look and says, leave me alone. I got, and the grass is, you know, as big as a chicken. And he, I don't think he's gonna pick it up and take it anywhere, but he was just uh, right on the side of the road there and he just was just eating away. Yeah, we have vultures up there, there, up there too, but not uh, very often. Woodpeckers, for sure. What do you think is our most favorite bird, Terry? What do we? The woodpeckers. The woodpeckers. Yeah. <laughs> grass. When the grass takes off, it flies. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Scares the crap out of it. They just when they take off. Their wings are noisy. They're just noisy things. Yeah. You know, I, I raise chickens, and and uh, my son has a chicken house, and when they try flying, they don't make a whole lot of noise. But when these grass are about the same size of a chicken, maybe a little bit bigger. Man, that sounds like a tank taking off. It just... Now, there was one day, a couple years ago, there was a mama grouse and some young ones. And chickens will cluck to their, to their, uh, to their chicks, you know, or cluck, 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 cluck. But the grouse whistled. It was this high piece whistle, whistle, whistle. And it's like, there's not like a chicken at all. That was interesting to learn. That they whistle, they don't cluck. Yeah. And then all the babies came and gathered around her and they hung around for most of the day that day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we love going to zoos. That's uh, um, yeah, a couple of zoos. I think I have a train video of going through a zoo at Logan, uh, not Lag uh, Lagoon Amusement Park. It's called the Train Zoo. <laughs> There's no animal park in that one. <laughs> but, but they say it's the second largest zoo I do have a video on there. It's called uh, The One Right Challenge. It's kind of fun to go watch. If you like trains, you like some zoo animals. Um, don't see a ton of zoo, zoo animals there, but you see a lot of humans. <laughs> it's an amusement park. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, we're losing connection. Here we go. Back to connection. Okay, got a grizzly here, and uh, this is why you don't want to cuddle up with them very much. Look at the size of the claws. Just the claws themselves are a lot longer than my finger itself. They're just huge. Um, there's a story up there in Logan area about, and uh, lower Idaho, um, eastern Idaho, about old Ephraim. Yeah, old Ephraim is considered the largest grizzly bear. Um, that was uh, in existence. I don't remember the size of them. He was huge. I know that his skulls at the Smithsonian were so huge. Probably about the size of that statue. Yeah. Much bigger than that. Maybe the biggest one you ever seen. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is a world record bear. Um, we never saw him. Oh, no, that was way back like in the there was, a, there was a tree that had claw marks on it, and they always caught the old Ephraim tree. And then someone felt like it had his claw marks, and then someone felt like cutting it down. Why do people do that? Yeah, this is a monument. Let's just cut it down. You just don't understand why people do stuff like that, kind of destroy a, a you know, cool little monument and the last tracks of that, that bear. 
Yeah, you can see the cut down tree, but it's not the same. We saw it when it was still standing. But they just, someone just. Tiger for second weight by the house. Ooh, here comes a tiger. You need good comments there, Terry or Crystal? Mm -hmm. They're already left already. Oh, you still got six people watching? Oh, wow. Who, who do we have watching here? I don't. Eddie, Nikki. Nikki, how you doing, Nikki? Um, got Eddie still, looks like. Uh, Spark. Spark, Sp Scorchy, Sparkio, a few people. Yep. Again, it is Christmas, so I don't expect a lot of people to watch and say, oh, look how beautiful that tiger is. Do you know what type of tiger this is? It's a Siberian? Um, oh, it's an it's a Amar, A-M-U-R tiger. Wow. Look, Isaac. That's a... Anything good facts about this tiger? Humongous. That's it is humongous. That's what one guy just said. Russian 600 pounds. Russian Chinese border. Weighs up to 600 pounds. Wow. <laughs> now that's a big tiger. Yep. And so they come over here. Let's go take a look at them and see. Wow. Magnificent. Beautiful tiger. Meet our mer tiger. His name is Chewy. Chewy's short for Chewbacca. Oh, I think he's named after some Star Wars character. Loves to show off his beautiful stripes to guests. You can often find him near the bridge or window. He also likes to play hide and seek with his keepers and seems to think crouching behind a single blade of grass makes him completely invisible. Just like a cat. <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, magnificent. Now, I've never been, I've lived in Asia, but I've, I've, I've never been to uh, this part of Asia, nor have I ever seen a tiger Oops, I lost connection. There we go. Back in. I was just saying before I lost our connection that uh, I lived in Asia, never did see a tiger, but I do have a story about um, a, 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 a kind of a scary snake uh, story. And am I I'm losing the, the, the thought? It was a um, king uh, cobra that we were walking along, we saw this cobra laying there, just laying out there, and we thought it was dead because we threw a stick out and didn't move. So we stepped over the cobra and then walked on, and then we turned our back and the snake's gone. It's like that cobra was alive. <laughs> they were huge, though. It was like 12 feet, it looked like about 12 feet long, about that wide. It was a big cobra. I mean, that's always fun to talk about. Animals temporarily <laughs> off exhibit. Okay, they should put a human in there. It's, it was supposed to be palace cat. Oh, those are cool. He's locked up inside somewhere. Yeah, because it's cold outside. Yeah. Now, I'm probably heading over to, let's say I've only been to this zoo once. And so far it's been fun. Cheetah. Activity, oh, cheetah. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is, way up there. Today. All the yeah. That normally aren't you never can see them because it's cool enough. I guess they don't have to lay around and be. They kept them need to move around to keep warm a little bit. I guess. No, that's a leopard. That's a leopard, not cheetah. You're a leopard. Wow. Uh oh. It's good. Is that that leopard's doing his his duty? Okay, we'll just uh, move on from the leopard. What's the potty break for the big cats? That's what they're doing. Yeah, it's potty break time. Okay, let's see, we might lose uh, connection going through this part. But yeah, oh, some leopard tracks, tiger tracks or something down here. They let the rent through while they're doing cement work. Yeah. So let's see what else we got going on. So it says, hope for animals and their world. We got the going into what's called the blue zoo. Zone. Frog. 
inflated. Yeah, so so they had this Christmas thing going on. They had Christmas lights, and one thing is they got 15 big, large animal balloons. It cost you $24 to go through it. It's uh, at night. It's open tonight, but we thought it would be too cold tonight to walk around, so we came here when it's still sunny. When you walk in the shade here, you can see my breath. See, it's getting quite cold. Now, this is a pretty cool place about this zoo because we're going to go up and see, go to the Australia area, and they have wallabies that are jumping around. You can get right, right to them. If they're up today. If they're out. We don't know if they're going to be out or not. You know, I don't know if uh, wallabies are used to cold and snow or anything like that. But that's a, another place I like to go visit is, is Australia. Maybe an Australian cruise would be fun. What was that? Oh, too far away. Oh, for popcorn? No popcorn today. Okay, we need to find some hot cocoa pretty soon and just sit down and relax. Okay. Good day, mates. Good day. Good day, mates. Here we go. Now, if you guys want to walk through. There's such a work in here, but this is a, the nicest <laughs> reptile house I've ever been in. Okay, we could try, let's see if we lose it real fast. It is a cool reptile house. It's like walking into somebody's house that has reptiles and tanks and stuff instead of like, it's all decorated like somebody's living room or something. We can try, we can try and see what happens real quick. We'll, we'll see if it. So I could stand out here at the phone, but then the phone might not go through either. Let's go, let's go walk in and we'll see if we lose it, we'll come right back out. You guys can go visit it though and warm up. It's time to warm up out here. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, we're still live. Okay. Let's go. Don't they have a sloth in here too? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So let's kind of walk through there. Now, when I was a youth, I used to have reptiles as pets. I had a pet rattlesnake. That was always fun to go feed. I don't know why my parents let me have a pet rattlesnake, but I had a pet rattlesnake for a while. But certainly gardener snake, garter snakes. I think my daughter Crystal, she had a garter snake pet. Um, the problem with garter snakes, they got uh, um, some glands that kind of make them smell. So they always have this smell look. Let's see if we can see the, uh, the sloth here. The, uh, let's see, here we go. Everyone's looking down, so he must be down on the ground today. There it is, just like a living room. Oh, I've got a turtle. Oh, he's, they're feeding turtles. Seeing a lot of feedings today. I don't see the sloth though. I don't think he's out today. There he is feeding turtles. So what type of turtles are these? These are western pond turtles. Pond turtles? Cool. They're native to the west coast, so Washington, Oregon. Oh, nice. Is Mr. Sloth out today? Um, there's one that's up here. And oh, wait. The other is in the green. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at those turtles. Nice. Hard to see? Yeah, I can kind of see this ball up there, but it's hard to see much of, much of them. Yeah. Now I know a lot of people, they, they head down to Rotan and they do the sloth holding. I've never done that, but it'd be fun to go and... Now these are Gila monsters, and these are poisonous, believe it or not. They have, uh, they bite you, you'll, you'll die. Poisonous or venomous? Venomous is really what it is, because the tree frogs are poisonous. These are venomous, just like a, a snake. And they're here in, in, in southern Utah, not here, but southern Utah, Arizona. This is skink. And my daughter, I think, had skink. I have to ask her, um, Terry, because um, Nikki, didn't you have skinks as pets? Or skinks that lived around in your porch? You'd feed them, uh, they'd come into your house once in a while. 
I think that's uh, now. In, at our properties, we had these little lizards that just love us. They come running around. They always are curious if I'm working. They'll come up to my feet and see what I'm doing. I don't know why those uh, lizards are so curious, um, but they just love up, up at our property. Now, how poisonous are the Gila monsters? Um, they're not poisonous. They're a, a venomous. Venomous. Um, and their bite is very painful, but it's not fatal. They're not fatal. Yeah, there's no antidote, but the good news is that you're not going to die. It just, ouch. It just feels like lava in your veins. Ugh. Yeah. That's, that's, ow. Like, that's no fun. Yeah. Look, it's in there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, like, let's find Terry and ask her about the skinks. Look, it's, this is why Terry likes it so much. It's just, it's just nice to be able to see. You can see the animals out of front. Got friendly staff members here talking to us. It's just been a fun trip here so far. I don't know where she went. I don't know. I think I've lost her. Maybe outside because it's hot. Let's go out the back door. I think that's where the birds are. Maybe. Okay, let's go to the birds. Oh, they're over here. I see them. Yeah, so here they're looking at... Uh, what's over here, Terry? Oh, by, by nice python. Oh, look at the big ones. They're like albinos. See the one on the on the on the uh, what is that? A face of some sort. They have flower pot, and then they got the now on the on these pythons. I saw some pythons in the Philippines, but they're they're quite large. They catch them in the banana plantations, but they were searching for one because one had eaten a child. And they're trying to catch him down. So, oh, it's right there. Yeah, so, yeah, so they finally caught it. I didn't see the dead one. I know they were just chasing after, trying to figure it out. And that was in um, Tagum um, in the Philippines. And so I lived on a banana plantation. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? And you know what? I had lots of bananas. Let's come out here. We've got some birdhouses, but I don't know if any of the birds are out. Now, I was talking about the skinks, right? Nikki has skink pets. Hey, well, they were wild skinks. Well, they were a type of skink, and they, were in our, they weren't really pets. They just lived on our porch. She named, so if Nikki's still on, what did you name your skinks? One was Peacock. What was the name of the dragon on um, Moose Shoe? Yeah, Moose Shoe. And I don't know what the other one was. But they'd come into our house and she'd feed them raspberries and blueberries. Yeah, I Got a peacock and a peahen. There's a lot of stuff in the way. Yeah, hard to see them. Last time we were here, they you know, did the full feather thing, but... Oh, Mulan was a female. Okay. Yeah, I was saying the barn... This is, this is the barn out, but again, what we saw... Um, was it was, was it just yesterday? It's a horned owl. Yes, it it's a great horned owl. owl. It's a great horned owl, and they're huge. Check now I first said it was a barn owl, but the, like, but oh, no, no, I had we actually looked at it, it wasn't white; it was all brown and it had these big old oh, horn oh. things on it. And yeah, we're talking about from here to that tree. We, you know, it was there, and of course, uh, Scott's chickens were kind of scared about them that uh, they may come over and get the chickens because he lets them out and let them run around, and. Um, Oh, it's just absolutely cool. It was 13 inches long. Oh, fun. So, so Mushu was 13 inches long. That's what Nikki's saying here on the uh, on the chat. So is there any good chats there you can? Trying to repeat it. Tim and Nikki think you need to go on a cruise. Yeah, yeah, we do need to go on a cruise. Um, I think Tim invited me on a cruise um, next. July. July on Princess going up to Alaska. Alaska, and I really do need to do that. Um, the problem is Terry, how she works, sure. she's in charge of, oh, of camps, camp. right? Yeah. So Terry has a hard time getting off in July because that's where the camps are all full. Um, I would love to go on that. They're also going one, I think, this June, aren't they? June or July? No, I think they're next. Uh, weren't they, I thought they're going on the Harmony of the Sea out of. Uh, Galveston. Oh, Tim, when are you going on your next cruise? Well, yeah, when are you going on your next cruise there, Tim? Anyway, I don't want to spoil it, but I think there was a Christmas gift you gave out. That's what Renee was saying. And we need to go on another cruise. 
just a lot of people I deal with deal with more cruises, but of course my site here is more of a vacation site. We're doing Not, Harry Potter this spring. We're doing the Harry Potter land. We're going to Universal Studios. This uh, this year? Uh, well, we have to go back down this way again. Yes. Good day, mate. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down and see if we can see some wallabies. Kangaroos. Northwest Point has joined us. It says, good morning, everyone. 11.55 a.m., negative 30 degrees Celsius. Where, where are they at? They're in Baltimore, right? Huh. What? I don't know where this Oh, Andrea, Andrea where, where are you at? Andrea's oh, wait, you don't have to say it, but... Point. Northwest. It's cold where they're at. They're cold. Where, where, where are you from? That's How cold it is? That's Celsius. What's Celsius? Fahrenheit? What's that in Fahrenheit? Cold. <laughs> just cold? Uh, just Very under, cold. It's just under negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> It's 30 degrees below freezing. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's cold. I think negative 28 is uh, Northwest Alaska. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I'm complaining about 10 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can complain more than that. Um, yeah. Well, welcome. Merry Christmas. It's good to have you on our little journey today. We're just kind of enjoying the cool weather here in Colorado. We have uh, done a few activities. Again, we climbed Pikes Peak. Well, just drove it, but I'm gonna say I climbed it. I hiked up to Pikes Peak, the 40 feet to the summit, and uh, came here to the zoo. Yesterday, we celebrated Christmas, not today. Um, because our daughter is in town. We had to drive her to the airport today to, uh, and her husband, we had to drive him to the airport today at four o'clock this morning and uh, fly him out. They're meeting with his parents in Georgia. That's close to where Eddie's at. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna head to Georgia and visit him. I'm gonna see if I can find Eddie and, and anybody else that lives in Georgia and kind of visit around, maybe Darien. would be fun. Okay, that wallaby, these are the wallabies are like in this open area. And you can walk right up to them. Okay, we might lose you in here, so let's see what happens. I might have to. Okay. Nope, we got, we got, we, we, we're doing good. Yeah, this is like the coolest thing in the world, not, not today. Looks like you can, can't walk any closer than that. That these are running outside, and you can walk right up to them. And they will well, jump. They stay, they stay away from you. They jump right in front of me, though. Go aside. Oh, I'm losing it. Okay, I'm back right here. I'm across right up here. I got it. Okay, so, yeah, so we don't get to do that today, but in the summertime, it's pretty fun. They got little cots, notice that. They got little cots to sleep on. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Yeah, let's go camping on our cot. <laughs> you really want to go outside. What's that say? Read it out to me. Uh, Andrew says, I live on a sandbar three miles long and a half, mile and a half wide and five miles away from mainland Alaska. Oh, that's Andrew. I thought you huh? said Andrea. I yeah, thought Andrew. it was your friend. Oh, Andrew. Andrew. I'm sorry, Andrew. I don't have my phone in front of me, so I was, uh, <laughs> but anyway, she, she's reading that. Now. Oh, wow. Is that Darian? Uh, no, Eddie was Oh, oh Darian in Florida. Yeah, Eddie yeah, was so, telling you where Darian was. So where, where, where does Nikki live at? What's, what's the town? Peach tree, so peach tree. So how far is that from you, Eddie? That's, uh, when we go down, we'll be going to peach tree. Peach tree? Yeah, it's peach a, tree city. That's peach tree thing. city, it's a golf cart community. Peach tree is the name of the building from the movie Dread that I don't think you've watched still. No, uh, Dread? No, the Judge Dread, I've seen that for a while. No, no, the, the new version of it. No, I haven't seen that at all. Yeah. So you don't understand. Yeah. He gets me. Yeah. So we're going to walk out of here. It's too bad because I really, really enjoyed. There's some weird ducks looking. Oh, Mr. Paul, how you doing? Merry Christmas. I sent you a Christmas uh, you, um, greetings to you off your site yesterday or today. Um, I think it was yesterday. So Merry Christmas. He's a, He has a great site too. That uh, He's always a great supporter, or at least a friend. On, on YouTube, and he puts up some good videos. Just saying he's not too far from Peachtree, I'm not sure. Oh, we got a chameleon on the side of the building. Oh, we got a big, big uh, chameleon um, balloon thing. One of the 15 they have out for Christmas. That's a real one. Yeah, well, 
This is the actual size giant chameleon. You can't see him because he is a chameleon. So where'd he go? I can't find him. I lost him, Terry. Instead of being a really big bird, oh, it should that. say a really big chameleon. Oh, oh these it's, emus it's really are huge. Bird. I don't know where they're at right now. <laughs> the emus come out right here. They'll come right here. Alice and, is joined. Oh, Alice, how you doing? Merry Christmas. Hope you, I appreciate your card you sent out. And um, I was on, we were traveling, so I didn't get to do a live on opening it up, but I appreciate you guys. And sent one off to you guys too, and I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And like I say, with Nikki being in uh, Georgia now, not Virginia, one of these days we can go out to dinner when, I'm, when I fly out there and, and have a good evening. Um, there's a white tree frog. He's at the door. Have to see the phone here. Make sure we don't lose lose anybody. I don't know. So what's in here? Let's see if I lose it. That's the exit. Oh, that's the exit out. Okay, I got it. Yeah, they were going. Oh, hey, look at that toad. Oh, that's a big toad. Yeah, this is a a, a, a cane toad. Um, and you see by his eyes that. He's on cocaine. Okay, we, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, this is where they usually have the wallabies and they're just jumping around you. Um, now I'll check a little film in here and show them. Right the bird hut. Yeah, right by the bird hut. Did you wanna go in the bird hut and feed the birds? I don't know if he's gonna have reception or not. Let's go find out. So in here you can go feed the birds. Um, the budgies, they see parakeets. Feeding experience is one dollar. I got a dollar. I lost it. Green health. Let's see if I can go in here and see if it gets any better. Nope. I got a little bit. It says it's really bad. Okay. Okay. I got a little bit, but green health is bad. So. So yeah, we lost them. Gonna call this up then pretty soon. Yeah. So um, it's been about an hour of, of today. That's the longest uh, live I've ever done. And uh, Terry's saying we need to go get some food and some uh, hot cocoa. And I think it's up there. No, they weren't open. I tried. Oh, they're not open. No, that's Wallaby House. But I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. It's been fun just talking, tell you some stories and a little bit of my life, a little bit. And um, we're starting to lose it. Let's go back up here. We're kind of losing it as an ending. So I'm gonna come back up here so it's stronger right here. That's good. Let these go just let these people go by. Here, Crystal, I oh, wanna hold that for a minute. Yeah. Um, okay, step back a little bit. Yeah, so I wanna appreciate each one of you today that has joined us. Uh, this was just a kind of a special Merry Christmas gift to everyone saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I don't think I have a video coming out this week. If it is, it's just going to be a short because we're traveling. And anytime you travel, you know, those are, who are vloggers know we, it's very hard to get on there and edit. But I did get a special Christmas gift. I got a computer I can edit while I'm traveling. So I can't wait to try it. That's because up in my property, I can never edit. You know, it's the uh, first thing I don't have internet up there at all anyway. I barely have cell phone. But I do got a chance to go and do some editing up at the property. Again, you know, it's up in the middle of nowhere and it's off grid. And some of the stories today was about our property and about some of the animals we saw. And we just love Mother Nature. We love animals and we certainly love going to the zoo. And I appreciate each one of you. And I just want to say again, Merry Christmas for today. I hope you guys have a great Christmas dinner. And I also want to say Happy New Year. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Cheers, mate. Cheers. cheers, cheers. Everybody say cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. The sign says cheers, mate. Oh, <laughs> cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs>